and welcome back to my studio. Welcome to today's video. My name is Whitney and I'm finally having some time to make some content for you guys. Holy cow. I've been kind of absent from YouTube for the last probably four or five months because I've been so insanely busy with personal stuff. I'm in school, I just finished my sixth semester at FIT. I'm currently renovating this farmhouse and I'm also renovating a mid-century modern house. I have had my hands full <laughs> and I just couldn't do it all and keep up with YouTube, unfortunately. But I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I've been working on if you wanna see it. Starting with what I've been making for school, let's take a peek in this closet. A happy shirt that I made. So at FIT, a lot of the times you only have to make uh, things on the half. There is a drop cloth jacket in here. I made these really cool pants out of a drop cloth. I love these things. My friend Lindsay actually modeled them for me. I will insert some pictures of the stuff I made right here. We're hiking down the trail to be on location for a photo shoot today. Do you have anything to say, Lynn? No? I'm excited to do She's this, my though. model. Hi! <laughs> what is this trail called? Mm. Farmhouse trail, maybe? Okay. It's gonna be pretty cool. So in sixth semester, you have to do a CFDA project. Mine was inspired by elements in architecture and construction. So these are blueprint prints that I did on Charmeuse. These are kind of leather shingles that I have brads in. This is supposed to resemble the mesh uh, reinforcement structure that goes in poured concrete. This is a drop cloth. I don't know. I was really inspired by home construction. I wonder why, if you guys follow me. If you guys know, I renovate, I renovate houses and I grew up doing construction with my dad. So that was a big inspiration. I actually made this portfolio out of quarter inch plywood. If you guys wanna see how I made this, let me know in the comments below. I can do a whole more in-depth video on the whole CFDA project, but this is kind of an overview of what I did for now. I was working on a sustainable collection. I wanted to work with more soft silhouettes and a lighter color palette because I'm usually pretty heavy handed. So this was kind of fun to do. Oh yeah, here's my journal for the CFDA. Uh, you know, just some, just some stuff. This is, see, this is what I was talking about. The rebar mesh grid in concrete. I don't know, I, I was inspired by it and this is my blueprint print that turned out like this leather shingles that I designed a jacket. Here's some drop cloth designs that I actually, I dip dyed this drop cloth and I ended up doing my jacket like this. And it turned out pretty cool. It didn't fully match the collection, but I liked it a lot. This was the semester of a million cutters musts. For the last art project collection, we had to make a website and I will show you that now. For the third project for our ready to wear class, we had to build a website and I use Squarespace. I am not sponsored by Squarespace, although I feel like everybody right now is, um, but I still love it anyway. So I titled this collection, the Adventure Collection, and I was really interested in active wear. So I made quite a few pieces and my friend Lindsay was my model and she was such a good sport. She modeled these things to perfection. Here is my color inspiration. There's a ton of blues, a little bit of orange, and then I wanted to offset the complete saturation with a little bit of off-white and black. And then down here are a couple illustrations with some color chips. Then at the very bottom of the website is a contact me page that is linked with all social media. 
If you go up to the top, I did set up a shop, which was really, really fun and exciting. It's so nice to see my stuff actually on a platform where it could be sold. This is not real. This is just a mock, a mock shop um, that was kind of a requirement for the class. The art project was not necessarily about the collection. It was more so about getting our hands dirty and making a website. So this doesn't look like a complete cohesive collection. These are some of the garments that I have made and they kind of go together. So actually the Ruth sweater, the ribbed trim cardi, and this neoprene skater skirt were part of my portfolio to get into FIT. So these are not things that I've made recently, but the project wasn't necessarily about creating all new things. But this drop cloth jacket, the drop cloth pants, all the activewear things I have made super recently. And it's really exciting to be able to click on an item and add it to your cart. And <laughs> I have it on sale, you guys. I mean, you can't actually buy this because there's only one. But down the bottom, you can put more images. And part of the requirement for the project was to do stylized colored flats with different colorways. So that's what this is. Super exciting, you guys. And there you have it. Okay, uh, that's all for this. Okay, bye. I got my kind of studio set up. Oh, and what do you think about the sound on this video? Hello, hello, can you hear me better? I got a microphone. Woo, 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 woo. And I'm gonna have a video for you guys on which microphone I got. And I have another microphone back there that I don't love as much. And if you wanna know, I'll have a video about which microphone is the best when you're shooting on an old ass iPhone 6 because it's all I got. And you know what? You make do with what you got where you are. And this is what I got where I am. So judge me, judge me. That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What? I'm filming! <laughs> Hi.